Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Before we head out once more to go and see the hag, what I think we need to do is we need to speak to Carlac because she had quite a lot of questions which we have not answered. Or oh, haven't yeah. asked, I guess. Yeah, so she has all these questions, so let's see what we need to do. Let's start with how did you end up with such a contraption in your chest? The year, ten air. The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Carlac, a knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. Yeah, she yeah. Put this thing in my chest and set me to work. But to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. Um, okay. Go on then. Tell them. I'll meet out the best ones bit by bit so you always have a reason to keep me around. Clever, right? Uh-huh. You mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zariel. Who was it? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked. Doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Hmm. What does that infernal engine do to you? Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. Hmm. Okay. You must be pent up. I, I try not to think about it. I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. One of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, and start making up for lost time. But, not today. Okay. More questions. Hmm? Uh, now that those paladins are out of your way, what's next on your agenda? First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Thing's powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the Hells. Can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic ground here, right? Mm-hmm. Well, we already found one. Cool. Let's leave. Right. And now it's time to leave camp and go back to what we were doing before, which is weirdly what I did in a lot of uh, Divinity games, which is or the Divinity Original Sin and Original Sin 2, is go around the map, discover every little thing, work out what level each thing is, rank them in my head from easiest to hardest, and then just basically work our way through. So, we're going to be going to the Hag to see what the Hag wants us to do, and to potentially rescue the person whose uh, brothers may or may not be dead. So, yeah, we'll see. Right, grab all that. Find a way Nothing else up here. Right, so, uh, do you want to just follow the path? I, I assume this looks a lot different if you haven't broken the illusion at this point. It's probably all nice and flowery. This, however, is not. Yeah, this is horrid. There's a well here, interestingly. Okay. The fetid smell assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. No, I don't think I'm going to drink from the well. Thanks for the uh, offer, though. Letter from M. Ooh, okay. That's probably uh, the person we're looking for. See if we got anything else up here. I don't think so. All right, quick save again. This stuff is free to have, apparently. So, uh, this. Grab it. This. Grab it. Let me in. Well, hello. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. 
one more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all. You best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. Um, you must have mistaken me for someone else. I don't think I did, dearie. And frankly, you're thick for saying so. You know, I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Uh-huh. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Well, okay. The lady doesn't seem to be enjoying her dinner. Keep your own little nose in your own little dish, Petal. I don't like busybodies. Besides, you have bigger problems. Uh-huh, yeah. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? A little bit. Are you saying you can remove it? Quicker than you can say yes, auntie. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? Depends on the price. Well, that depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. Um, wait a oh second. Oh dear, you don't have one to spare. Terribly sorry, Petal. But no deal for you. Should you know someone with two eyes in their head and a regular problem, send them my way. Auntie will sort them out. Um, yeah, we, we, we kind of used that eye previously. Um, Auntie now, Ethel? Marina. Time to go. Um, whoa, where did she go? She has disappeared out of existence. Uh, well, we know where she is. Oh, investigate Kaga is complete. The druids will want nothing more to do with us. Oh no, we locked ourselves out of that quest. That sucks. Okay, Auntie Ethel. Hello, sweetness. I'm still waiting for someone with a spare eye. Why well, to Marina? Did you do something to her? Keep your own little nose in your own little dish, Petal. I don't like busybodies. I mean, I'm tempted to just kill her, but this seems like the incorrect answer. Here for whatever you need, Petal. Hmm. Well, hmm. Not entirely sure what to do. There's no ordinary fireplace. There's something there beyond the flames. Interesting. It's going to grab this stuff. I'm also wondering whether the Kaga quest is permanently shut or whether we can potentially get it to reopen if we get the other bits we need. I don't know. Oh, there is something back here. Um temporarily hostile. You you can flee or knock them out. They might resent you but not be actively hostile. Uh Run. <laughs> Was there a flea button? I didn't read how the flea worked. Run down here. Okay, you? That's the combat. Victory is assured. Run. Knight to King 5. Go. You? Run. Go. You run, go. You don't have enough movement. Okay, can I use a dash? <laughs> there we go. Can't Regroup. Give up now. Okay, I guess in the red round here means we are definitely not allowed down here. Okay, rescue Marina. Uh huh. Well, stealth. Let's go. Path lies before me. Rogue's morsel. What is going on down here? 
that was not me saving, so I'm a little worried. It's Magron over there. Let's see what you're Efren, petrified. Wait, we had a thing that allowed us to unpetrify people. Don't. I can't have gone far. Don't. There's Lauren. Huh. Okay, standing mirror Stop. over here. Please. There's somebody holding their head. Well, this is not good. What is this place? Yeah, this is pretty hard. Uh, I kind of want to free this this person as well. I can. Uh, let's unstealth. You are as thick as they come, sweetness. Oh. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! I should have stayed stealthed. Tell me where Marina is. Has that Riggler eaten your brain already? Leave. Or you'll end up in tonight's stew. It'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. Ha! Uh, okay. Um, well, this isn't good. She's already marinating? Does that mean she's in there? Oh, I don't know. Things have got way out of hand. Okay, um, basilisk oil. Uh, I'm gonna quick save before I use it, because I don't know how you use it on someone else. Do you just throw it? Um, I don't know. Where's thr throw? Basilisk oil? Oh no, where is it? Um, it's gotta be in here somewhere. None of those. Okay. Uh, it's, it's a grenade or a potion, I guess. Potion of sleep. Asla's got. Okay, let's clear that for a second. This thing. Okay. Um, I think it was. If I do something like this, it resets. Oh, there we go. I freed you. And the bloody hell's is going on? I don't know. Uh, I removed the petrification spell. You did what? But, but you can't. Why not? You want to be petrified? I have the bloody bite. Larigo's bite. The petrification stopped it spreading. Oh no, 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 no. Oh God, no. Ah, hell. I feel like I've made a mistake. I don't want to die. I feel like I might have made a large mistake. My dearest Ethan, he begged me to hold the deadly disease that ravaged him. Oh, it tells us. Okay, there. I see. Um. Ooh. I think would be uh, something that we could say to that. Definitely oops. This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. Oh, and then doesn't lay eyes because she's been killed. I understand. Uh, that one's not so subtle. Okay. Path lies before me. Rogue's morsel. We were told to leave, however, we're still quite clearly here. Um, grab all these. We started a conversation with a tree. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. What happened last time you opened? Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him, dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb. She cackles, the man's remaining flesh twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Oh! Okay. Flee, you feel it cry. 
I'm not afraid of that hag. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for thirty more years, Petal. Oh. Okay. Um. All right. Is there another way in? You see an image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Run. Its no. form flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. Oh. Um. If I kill the hag, you'll be free. Let's see how that goes with a little guidance. Uh, inspiration? No. Nope. Fear rushes through you as the door shakes, remembering the hag's smile. It remains firmly closed as the presence huddles within. Okay. Well, I was just looting, so like I'll be back to the door in a minute. It's also transparent, it said, so I could walk through it. What's the other thing? A thief Don't who tried to look. steal from Auntie. Don't. Now the good little pet guards my home. My Don't. gentle Lauren. Please. He wished Please. to know what was to come. Oh, no. Hello, Lauren. No. No! Don't look. Mustn't look. Mustn't see. Are you all right? I see it. What's to come? You realize there's magic at work. Some type of spell. An illusion. Me. Dead. Dead. Flesh rotten, bone shining. Hmm. Um, calm yourself. Whatever you're seeing, it isn't real. Lies. Lies. I see it. See truth, see death, all future. Okay. That so, and what does my future hold? Always asked, never good, never see, never. Gods, don't hurt me. Oh, please, 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 please. Hmm. Um, not everyone looks like you do, Elf. It's shocking, I know. <laughs> um, what? Why would I hurt you? Monster! Monster! Oh. My mind dripping! Flesh peeling! Mind flayer! Ah, I see. Look at me. I'm not a mind flayer. No! No! Mind flayer! Get away! Get away! Wait, away! Hmm. No intention of letting that happen. Not bad. I've had better days and worse. Don't ones. look. Hmm. Not sure Don't. what we can do for him. So far, we haven't done a lot for anyone. Gnarly cauldron in the center. What can? We, well, we'll look at that in a second. What about you, Please. Magron, Please. and your head? Well, Magron is dead. Well, that makes sense. Head. My darling Magron. She wished for the mind of a genius, but that silly head crossed me. Don't. Okay. My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. I see. Don't. So his beauty never fades, but he's trapped in the mirror. We could destroy the mirror, but I'm feeling like these are these are bad decisions to destroy mirrors. That just seems like that would not end well for me. Pouch? Ooh, pouch. Oh, that's it. Just, uh. Okay. We'll loot later. I'm going to get through this door. I'm ready. Let me in. I've, I've somehow ended up in this mess very quickly, but let's let me in. You 
feel the barest hint of life from within the door. I can see through you. I can just walk right in. You see the hag, eyes bright with glee as she sets fire to the door. What? With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. The presence within shrinks, begging you not to run through it. Okay. Well, I have one Feel option the then. the barest hint of life. All oh, right. Within. You see the hag, I with hmm. a jerk. I think I'm gonna walk through the door if I can. I wish to walk through the door. It's very. Can I click here? Okay, we were asked not to, but I did it anyway. I'm a rebel. Okay, bone cap. Bone cap. There are enemies here. Masks of vengeances. Okay, what were the other masks I picked up then? Uh, by latest? Maybe they're useful? Part of the flock, Auntie Ethel welcomes you, dearie. What does that do? Hello, Peggy. My, my, the mask suits you. Just relax. See the world with fresh eyes. And let your dear old Auntie Ethel look after you. This seemed like a bad decision. What, what does it do for me? The stench oh. of rot is a slap to the face. Suddenly she is there, beside you, behind you. Inside you. Yeah, I'd like to take the yes, mask off. I have you now, Petal. Don't worry. Auntie is going to take good care of you. What are you playing at? It's that bloody mask. Take it off now. Um, yeah, I think that seems like a good idea. I can't take it off. It can't be changed. Uh, how do I take the mask off? Oh, no. Um, till the mask is removed, the spellcaster is... Yeah, that's not good. My equipment cannot be changed right now. Um, are we trapped? I believe that we are trapped. Can you, like, um, knock us out? I'm gonna need some kind of spell that could help us here. Um... Hmm. I'm looking for like something that would put us to sleep, but I don't think we have anything immediately. Now, yeah, this seems bad. I, I don't really know what I'm meant to be doing here, but I can't move either. I, I think maybe it's putting on the mask was a bad idea. Uh, how do you take off the mask? What do you reckon? Um, maybe you've got something? Disguise, advantage, guidance. Uh, any other cleric spells that seem useful? Mirror image. Uh, no, none of this is going to help us. Um, yeah, no, it's not really like that. It's more like I'm wearing a hat. Uh, yeah, so that will last until. We're not going to kill ourselves for this. I'm tempted to reload, because I think I've actually... Yeah, I think I've just screwed us. Yeah, I'm going to reload. <laughs> Mainly because I don't know what to do. And I can't even come up with a plausible suggestion as to what to do. And if I can't control the character, then I'm going to assume that... Uh, yeah, I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I'm toasted. <laughs> don't put on the mask, which lets the hag control you. It's an odd strategy, but I think it might work for us. Okay, cool. Right, uh, so I didn't put on the mask in this one, right? Yeah, that seems sensible. So there's people back here. What, what are we facing? So these are people wearing the masks of terror and vengeance. Best okay. be on my way. Uh, can we climb here? No, we'd have to go round if we want to climb. I almost feel like I just want to come in here and shoot. Uh, they spotted us. Okay. Anyone still ta um, hidden? We're still hidden? I'm ready. Uh, okay. Never mind, you're in the combat. That's fine. 
Oh, he can't move. Okay. We're frightened, apparently. Not good. Um, let's see what we've got. Uh, some people around here that we're going to need to deal with. Let's maybe switch to our other weapon set. Summon the best boy scratch his nose can discover many things hidden in the world. Oh, we've got familiar. Oh, I didn't even realize that was a new thing we got. Oh, that's cool. Maybe that's how you use the burrowing holes. Anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, maybe we do this. The little arrow of darkness. Uh, here. Yeah, that'll stop them from being able to do anything immediately. And we can't move because we're frightened. Um, well, that seems about it for us. Yeah, let's end ter turn for us. Yes, I would love to. Hmm, I could try and kill this mask of terror at the top, maybe. Not fire bolts, not burning hands. Go to the wizard spells. I'm thinking scorching ray. Three of those. Maybe I just Scorching Ray one of these. I can do 36 max with a Scorching Ray. I think I'm going to go three hits here. Well, we got a crit. That's pretty good. End turn. Shadow Heart. 60%. Do we have better than that if I use it like a, a fire? Oh, 55. No. But if I use um, Sacred Flame, 65. Do it. Cool. I just needed the death. Okay, and then you're going to get out of the mud. Or water, I guess, that you were in. Uh, then I can drop a healing word on... Probably on Drogu. Cool. End turn. That's not good. Curse of Regret. Take 2 to 5 psychic damage each turn is vulnerable to psychic damage. Deal damage to remove this condition. Okay. Um, I'm thinking jump directly on top of them. Followed by hitting them really hard with your weapon. Okay, then action surging. And lacerating. Nice, now you're bleeding. Oh no. Be kind guests. Now I feel bad for killing them. Not bad enough to not kill them, of course, but you know. Need you feel bad forward. for for killing them. I don't want to draw any attention. Okay. End turn. One can't always be a gentleman. Um get forward. out here. Magic missile? Much as magic missile? 6 to 15. Two of those followed by like a magic missile um, in here. Oh, I didn't actually end up killing this person? Oh no. Uh, sacred flame? Yeah, that didn't sound good. Get up here. Dropping a heal. Nice. Um, Azale, jump directly in here and kill them. Yeah, it doesn't feel good when I know that they're being controlled. Yeah, makes me feel like the bad guy, somewhat. Okay. Uh, shoot this person. Okay, that went very well. Hide. Quiet. Move with care. Uh, it failed. Get over here. Hide. In turn. Uh, scorching ray. Did some damage. That's okay. Uh, followed by. Oh, you can't move. Okay. Use your bonus action heal to start with. Followed by. Guiding bolt. Nice. Okay, get over here. 
and turn. Kill. Yeah, as I said, doesn't feel so good when you know that they're uh, being controlled. <laughs> kind of makes you feel like the bad guy. That's okay. Let's do a little short rest now that we've done a combat. There's a whispering mask. Yeah. None of this is good. This can all go to uh, Lazale. This one. Lazale. This one. Also Lazale. Faded note. Read. Read this every morning. Remember, she is not your friend. She is not your family. Do not eat the food unless she is watching. Do not drink the tea unless she is watching. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. The words lies are written in large, thick letters across the rest of the text. Yeah, that's not good. Well, we're sending those to Lazale. Um, head over here. I yeah, definitely not feeling like the good guy here. Despite being the good guy here, obviously. Like, we're, we're fighting off the hag, but the hag's got all these people. I'm wondering what the other option is here. I guess it's like stealth the whole way in. Probably, right? Or, like, don't do this at all. Yeah, something like that. What have we got here? Temporary hit points. Oh, that's fine. Um, kept from death's door by a brief magical boost. Gained three hit points. It's cool. What's up with the water? Just weird water. Yeah, okay. It also saved as I jumped in here. Let's go for a little stealth. You, you decide just not to not stealth? Don't waste there we step. go. Right. Avoid the noxious fumes. Th this has gone severely and badly for us. Just in general. Uh, jump down here. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> uh, okay, we can put heavy objects on these to remove the traps. Uh, I don't have any heavy objects on me right now. Can I just jump down here? Maybe. That seems like that's going to hurt. How's everyone feeling about jumping down here? What? Shouldn't have wished to live in more... Stay vigilant. There are traps here. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, let's turn off group mode temporarily. I'd rather stand tall. Yeah, no, I'd like you to jump down here. Very stealthy. Oh, and you hurt the... <laughs> oh, you hurt Droko as you jumped down because you landed on him. Ow. All right, well. Nice little short rest there. That hit the spot. Um... There we go. We got it. Roll. Nice. Um, regroup. Okay. Well, we found a cage. Let's keep him down here. Um, this is hell. This one let you know. This this is my personal version of hell. Is just traps everywhere. I don't really want to go through the noxious fumes. However, I don't really have an option in the mat. Like, you know. How are we going to handle this? Guys, just go through the fumes, okay? Camera. Okay. All's well that ends. We're fine. Bad as it could have. We're stealthing. We're going in. And move. I smell a trap. There, in the cage. We're also quick saving. So what is the plan? Do we have a plan? Hmm. These are great questions. Is that the person who can see us? Yeah. Well, I don't see any hag around, so maybe we'll just head over there and see what we can do. Let's unstealth. 
Ah, I see. You come to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair. You petulant bollocks! Oh. I'll rip your spine out your asshole. I'll use your blood to spice my stew. I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones. And then I'll bring you back and do it all over again. Oh. Just get out of here, please. Um. Okay. Still alive. I would like to burn. walk down here. Trap. Good, good, good job, guys, in the trap. Uh, where, where's the hag? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I see the hag. Uh, uh. Ow. Ow. Am I about to be dead? I'm about to be extremely dead, right? Nice critical miss. Okay, you're alive. That's all that matters. Y yeah, okay. Um. So is this Hag's trickery? Is that, um, is this Ethel or an illusion? Okay, I'm assuming we don't have to kill them all, but if you do damage, then they, uh, stop attacking you. That's generally how these kind of things work. Let's do a heal. I'd love to activate the control orb. Let's do that now. Is that moving the thing down, or is that saving her somehow? Not sure. Okay, arrow of fire. We can hit two with one arrow. Um, that missed on both of them. That's horrible. Um, end turn. Drink one of the big healing potions. Um, switch weapon. Okay, switch. Run and hit. <laughs> Not the real one. Okay. Um, that probably seems like a good end turn there. Heal. Probably magic missile. Wait, take just the world's tiniest little step this way. No, I wanted the magic missile. Oh no. I thought I was still on it. Heal. Um. Probably firebolt. Yeah, that didn't work. She being saved. I activated the control orb. I think I have saved her. Well, that's good. The Zale is being held for ten turns. All right. We're being held for 10 turns. Gale is being held for 10 turns. Gale has been shot. Lazale has been shot. Hey, you're free. Okay. Um, got anything that's like better to hit here? Maybe a little sacred flame? Saved so didn't take any damage. Heal. Uh, switch weapon. Yeah, run up here. We'll just see what we can do. Maybe he's free. Ow. Okay. Oh, she was the only person who got herself freed there. Not real, but at least didn't do a turn. Gale's been held again. Lazale's been held. Oh, she's free. Okay, Lazale. Leap. Hit him. Action surge. We can't let them have so many actions each turn. Oh, I found the real one. Okay. The others didn't disappear, though, like you might expect. 
Okay, so I still need to hit the other ones with some kind of spell. 30% hits here. Okay, drop a bonus heal onto Gale. Okay. Um, 50%. Okay, what, what was this one? 30%. 55%. We got anything better here? Um... Let, let's go for a guiding... No, not guiding. Let's go for a sac... Let's go... Sacred Flame? Let's go Sacred Flame. Okay, they saved. Marina? Okay, you just do whatever you're doing. Just swap places with Marina? Okay. Wait, did she swap places with me? I'm not sure what happened. Oh no, there's Marina and there's Marina. Oh, one of them is real and one of them is not real. Oh no. Which one's which? Well, that's not good. Jump. Hit him. We knew that one wasn't real, but it got the whole person away. We'll stand over here. Let me recite their demise. Um, heal. Get over Shall here. Done. Doesn't miss. Doesn't miss. Sorry. Okay, we found the real one. We did hit Marina, but that's okay. And I think we might have broken all of the uh, concentrations as well. Catch my breath. Heal. In fact, there's only one uh, anti-ethyl left as well, which is nice. Uh, maybe do a dash here. Okay. Dash up here. And then shoot this person with something that stops her from healing. Didn't do anything. Oh, no. Okay. Heal. Run up. Oh, I'm not next to him, so I can't drop a heal down. Can I guiding bolt her yet? No, I'm not in range. That's going to be an end turn then. She's okay. Ow. Hey, at least we got to hit him back. That's nice. And then she set herself on fire. That's definitely a good start there. Time to strike. Azale, heal. Um... We got lacerate. That seems good. Yeah, lacerate her. You bow or you break. She saved versus the lacerate, but that's okay. No choice but to keep going. You can now switch weapon. You still have your bonus action. We could use that to put wither and poison on, and then use the second one to dash, maybe. Um. Yeah. Or maybe oil of accuracy. Okay, then we're going to dash, then we're going to start stabbing. By my hand. Nice damage, okay, end turn, end turn, heal, get up here, scorching rays, nice damage, okay. Get round here. To press on. Guiding bolt will give an attack next attack roll um, advantage. Okay, that's I didn't even apply. Okay, and then heal Lazale. Nice, wonderful. Marina's okay. Oh no, no, they're all back again. Well, that's horrible. Okay, I need to start hitting them. Hmm. Uh. I don't really want to use Arrow of Ice because that would then spread like ice everywhere. Stick with these. Stab. No time for mercy. <laughs> Not real. Okay. Uh, I still t I have a bonus action. Can I get any bonus action that lets me stab? Not really. Get close. End turn. 
Jump. Hit him. Not real, but that's okay. It's a hack that isn't attacking. Do you still have magic missiles? You do. Fantastic. Um, do I still have Misty Step on you? I don't. Okay, I was thinking like Misty Step somewhere, then start throwing out magic missiles. But I think if I head here... Then I can go magic missile and hit. I can hit two. That's okay. I'll have to cope with two. Uh, throw two that way. Okay, they're both fake. That only leaves us with two anti-ethyls. Oh, one of them is invisible? Okay, well, never mind. We knew one. Uh, I guess we actually knew that. Um, yeah, we, we knew that these weren't real. That's okay. Uh, your leap is not that far. Why don't we get you up the hill? Do you have a shot? Nope. Um, make a target more resilient to spell effects, potentially. Um, yourself? Cool. End turn. Irina's here. She's fine. There's the invisible lady. I thought our eye let us see invisible people. I just realized that. Wait, did, yeah, doesn't our eye let us see invisible people? Was that not the Volo thing? Hmm, maybe. Uh, get him. My fury. <laughs> nice crit. And we've now revealed her. Wonderful. Uh, do a little second wind healing on yourself as well. Perfect. Where do I go from here? Uh, you need to wait for Shadow Heart to get into melee range. Moving. And then hit him. True Strike. Okay, your next hit is, uh, has advantage, I think. Plus a little heal. Why is everyone getting blessed every time they heal? Must be something I've forgotten about. But still, it's good. I'm, I'm not complaining, really. I'm just like, I've forgotten why we got that. If I ever knew. Huge damage. Love to see it. Uh, do another attack. Nice. The witching hour. Uh, you. End turn. With the weave. What have you got? Magic missile is very good at removing the other effects. That's a level one spell slot. Got no level two spell slots left, so I guess we're gonna try one of these. Like a little fireball. On my honor. Okay. Now what are you gonna do? Ow. Nice crit. Hey, we saved on this one. Wonderful. Okay. Hit him. Nice. Time to push my luck again. Stab him. With an extra stab. Okay. Uh, Lazale? Not Lazale, Shadowheart. Hit him. Okay, we have true strike again. No gloom, all doom. Magic missile. We killed her! You bastard! You ruined it! You ruined everything! What? Uh, slow down, what did I do? Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you! Um... Hags don't work for free. What did you promise her? This... Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. And all this... All this would have been over. You were gonna trade your baby for your dead husband? Don't judge me. I have nothing. My baby would have been raised in rags. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic even. More than I could have done. Is that what Ethel told you? She said I'd make a bad mother. I... I think she was right. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. 
It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. Honestly, like, nothing in here has made me happy. I mean, apart from Auntie Ethel now being dead, but like, the rest of that, not, not that happy. Tarnished Charm makes it easier for the wearer to succeed death saving throws. Why would I need that? I don't ever take death saving throws. You know? Not yeah, my bluff thing. isn't working, huh? <laughs> um, we don't take them that often. Mainly because if we take them, we've gen we're generally dead. Okay. Well, I mean, we killed the hag. Um, don't really think that we did a great job here, but... We've achieved a goal. No, don't stand in the cage that she was trapped in. Um, are you stupid? <laughs> I was like, I wonder what, what's in this uh, cage. Like, no, don't do that. In here? Ooh. A room full of loot, you might say. And some kind of mushroom circle. Okay. Um... I will take the pig's head and the pork loin. And everything else in here. The earthen bottles, the cup. Yeah, the, the earthen bottles. See what else we got in here. Uh, letter from Ethel. Uh, blotches of ink are splattered on this unfinished letter written in an uneven scroll. Sister dearest, are you feeling all right, Petal? I can't bl I believe you let some pup give you the slip. I'd be mortified. Worry not, my red cap snabbed the bugger. They're taking their sweet time with him. The screaming stopped a few nights past, but the sobbing continues. He'll die regretting he crossed the hag. A mother with a failing mind. You know me so well. I have the most darling mask for her. You must come to viz... Hmm. Okay. So to her talk with another hag. Another letter to Ethel. Um, Ethel, I've heard business has been slow. Rest assured, I have a job for you. A client fled Baldur's Gate without payment. My agents picked up his trail along uh, Sionthar and ensured he'll pass through your territory. Do as you wish to him. In exchange, I have a girl who suits your particular appetites. Her mother's mind is failing. My contact has assured her that you can help. I have sent her by the usual route, M. Ah, so that'll be the letter from M that we saw up above. Okay, interesting. So, in theory... There should be another hag in Baldur's Gate. Picked up one bitter divorce. What was that? That's in the, under the Save Marina one. You found a wand with Connor's name on it. Could this resurrect Marina's husband? I don't know. The Ever Seeing Eye. Ocean of Speed. Wooden bowl. Cups. Wooden bowl. Okay. Uh, what what have we got here? Uh, protection from uh, evil and good abjuration spell here. A pale green, green eye pierced by the twisting branches of a dead tree, the result of a foolhardy woman begging Auntie for a favor. Interesting. Staff of Crones is a, a quest level item here. Okay. Let's grab that. Ooh. Okay. Well, let's uh, send. Oh, no. Picked up an add to wares. That's what I was trying to do. Staff of Crones. What's up with the Staff of Crones? Sort by latest. Um, does 1 to 7, and it has Ray of Sickness as a necromancy spell here. Live worms wriggle beneath the crumbling surface of this half-rotten staff. Merely touching it fills you with a wave of unbearable nausea and a strange longing as if it's calling out for its like. Let's send that to Gale. It's the, he's the only person who uses this type of thing. Um... So he loses the not wearing armor saving throw thing. He is actually well, he's not he's not wearing armor, but what well, if I take this off? Yeah, yeah. So he's def that's what it means. I think this one might be better. I don't know. Why don't you use it? It looks cooler. That's fine. Ahead. One day There's a lot a over here. Elixir of Arcane Cultivation gains an, an extra level one spell slot. That's kinda cool. All of these have names. Hmm. Missing pets, butterflies in the stomach, lost time, broken promises, faltering will, heart of stone, insanity's kiss, earthen bottle. Okay, what what do all these do? 
Um, something thrashes in this heavy gourd consumed by rage. Fig fr uh, fragments of malachite swirl at the bottom of this potion, coalescing and separating rhythmically. A sweet, intoxicating aroma hangs around this bottle. It reminds you of home. A parasite swims at the bottom of this bottle, fat with strength. Its seal is dry and cracked with age, yet the clear potion within bears no signs of spoilage. A traditional brew of ergot and nutmeg meant to recapture the fluttering thrill of first love. Thousands of little legs skitter inside this bottle, seeking an escape. Smells like a sleep potion turned sour. A hint of blood lingers around the stopper, it's enough to make your mouth water. A rotten pungency undercuts this potion's otherwise pleasant aroma of roses and honey. Okay. Can I use this? I have to cast a spell. Okay, I don't know on what though. We'll hold off for right now. I guess I need to go and find that casket that she said she had. So what's this? Oh, it's a teleporter? Because it's got every quest on it? Um, what's this do? Just a quick way in and out. Okay. Um, let's head up to Marina because this is where she is apparently, so let's go. We're, we're definitely going to go back and loot. Do not doubt that we will go back and loot. Uh, hey, Marina. Gods, didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> um, I found a wand. I think it can resurrect your husband. What? You can? You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! Uh, sure. Why not? Uh, as a zombie? That's not good. What? What's happening? Why is he still dead? You feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. What have you done to him? Um. So the hag fulfills her promise. It can never be simple, can it? Um, this is your husband. Do you want him or not? Connor? Connor! <sighs> I don't even know if he's in there. But he might be. And if he is, I'll find him and bring him back. Sounds like you might be a little obsessed, lady. Uh, here's the wand. Good luck to you and Connor. Gail approves? Thanks. Really? But we'll need more than luck. A bloody miracle, more like it. I'll find a wizard or something. Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. Connor always said you can find anything in that city. Remember? And thank you, I guess. Come on, love. Let's go. Yeah, don't, don't worry about your brothers, by the way. They're dead. Best idea. Pity. Um even the power of the weave to help now yeah okay I mean like uh, um yeah I feel like we wandered into a situation that was far outside of our uh, realm of knowledge to deal with and we dealt with it rather badly but we have dealt with it now is there anything in here that we have to kill or can we loot it it's locked all right I'm gonna unlock it with a guidance. Oh, it's only got a difficulty class of two. <laughs> Probably didn't need guidance on that one, huh? 
Wow, there's so much in here. Okay, there's a lot of loot in here all over the place. This is crazy. Okay, um, well, what I think we'll do is we might end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Next time, we're going to loot this whole place. We're going to go down and see what happened to everybody. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm still a little bit like I'm not entirely sure that we did the right thing or that we knew what we were doing, but we have achieved and that's what matters. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.